I would say Grupo Habita was founded out of passion mainly. Moises Micha, my business partner and myself, we were passionate about architecture, design, contemporary art, and we were developing real estate in Mexico City. And one day we just decided that it would be a great idea to build an intimate hotel in a city that at the time, in the late 90s, was not conceived as a happening place to visit or even a nice place to live. And we wanted to build a little piece of heaven in all of this chaos. We uh, asked the other two brothers, the other two Mitchell brothers, if they wanted to join us in this adventure. And this is how everything started. I think since day one for Group, Grupo Habita was to make a hotel that was exceptional. At the beginning, we really never looked at whether it was going to be a good business or not. Our first hotel was a complete uh, surprise to even to us when it was successful. And, uh, but we all, always kept the same formula and we kept that formula even after 20 years. And the formula has been to do something that feels innovative, a place that is inviting and authentic, and mainly embraced with the community and that it's almost been there forever. That's the most difficult task, I think. The ways to do it is through architecture, interior design, graphic design, of course, the identity of the hotel, but mainly the human aspect, which has to do with the team and the people that work in the hotel that makes it really uh, unique. When we built our first hotel, we chose what we thought was the perfect uh, architect uh, at the time, because we wanted a hotel that was very minimalist. Then through time, uh, we wanted to do uh, hotels that had more of a global sort of uh, vision or influence. And for our second hotel, we decided to look outside of Mexico for a great talent. We want them to be fresh. We don't want to repeat formulas. So when we start doing our outsourcing, it's important for us that most of the times they've never built a hotel. So we give them this uh, opportunity. It's important that they don't come with pre-conceived uh, ideas of the way a hotel should be. It's, it's difficult to find these people when they're young and they're not that well known yet. Uh, but this is something that we come, almost become experts in doing. And the way we do it is we just knock on doors. I became a hotelier when I was almost 40. At first, it seemed like it was only about putting bricks together, construction and, you know, creating a space. And once we opened our first hotel, we realized exactly the opposite. You had like your hardware, but the software had to do with us. It had to do with the people that came and work afterwards. It had to do with the guests being happy with what we, what we were delivering. And I think it became very rewarding to see people leave with a big smile. And what is, I think, very rewarding about hospitality is to see a guest come back. Those people almost become kind of like an extension of your brand. They become loyal to a vision and an idea. And I think that's the most rewarding thing about hospitality.